Hey, this is Michael Pavlovich, and I'm going to be showing you the basics of the new Insert Curve Mesh functionality in ZBrush. The first thing we're going to do is reacquaint ourselves with curves, such as drawing out a curve, utilizing the Bend and Snap functions to actually update the curve on the fly and having it snap to the object underneath, using your Z Intensity and Brush Size to modify the curve as well. And once we're comfortable with curves again, what we're going to do is create our own custom insert brush, starting with this vertebrae brush. So we're going to make our own object here, orient it correctly so that when we use the new Create Insert Mesh button, what we have is our own custom insert brush, which will insert the mesh, as well as, by turning on this Curve Mode button, create our own new vertebrae brush, which again, we can modify on the fly and create all sorts of cool new effects using the new functionality within ZBrush. We're then going to delve into the functionality of the Tripart Insert Curve Brush, making our own chain link, which will utilize a beginning, middle, and end poly group, which we can then, once using again our Create Insert Mesh Brush, to create a chain link brush that we can modify dynamically on the fly using the functionality of the Tripart Insert Curve Brush. Next, what we're going to do is, using the information we got from the chain link brush, apply that to a more organic mesh, such as this tentacle brush. We're still going to use the same principle, such as the Create Insert Mesh, to now create a brush that will resemble a tentacle that you can actually modify on the fly using the curve functions, as well as some new stuff we're going to find up here in the brush modifier, such as Soft Curve, used in conjunction with, for example, the Size and Fall Off functions. And finally, building on the information that we used on the tentacle brush, we're going to create a multi-mesh insert brush with snake heads here. So when you create our brush, we can actually have one that you can choose between certain insert multi-meshes, so when you draw out the snakes, you can change their heads on the fly. So come check out these cool new features with me, and as always, remember for more ZBrush tutorials, check back in with Pixelogic.com.